thing about this is just that the cauliflower it just bakes in the oven and you can just chill mm -hmm. the other like throughout. Yeah. It's not like you have to keep checking on it to yeah. make sure it's not boiling over or anything. This is why I bake it rather yeah. than fry it. Yeah. It's true. I like baking for that reason too. And so this is just from one carrot, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. You can do it multiple things at a time. I'm just doing it individually. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I've been doing at home this winter is making um, quick pickles. <gasps> Oh my god, I love them so much. Yeah. Except I don't really like vinegar, so I just put it in lemon. Mm, okay. But I love yeah. them so much. Like I just eat them plain. Yeah. Do you use different types of vegetables? Like how do you make I your... honestly just use cucumber and yeah. cabbage. Nice. And carrots. Yeah. Honestly, cabbage not so much. Just cucumber in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cucumber because it's so good. And then I've also been chopping up red onion. And then mm. heating up vinegar and pouring the vinegar over it, and then you just have like a nice really onion in your fridge that you can just eat with anything. Onions, carrots, cabbage, also good, also mm -hmm. cheap. Again, this feet this like you can make such a big batch of this mm -hmm. for so many people. Mm -hmm. So there's that as well. And it's not like it's going to take extra time. Mm -hmm. That's true. We'll just bake the same amount of time and just have a bigger pan. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, wrong side. Oh, yeah, let's get a close up of this. Pull this, cool, this peel. All right, so this is just the regular peel. And the other part, I'll literally just noodle thingy it. Yes. That works great for squash as well. And then would you use the squash raw like in a salad? Oh, I like squash raw, but you could also bake it with mm -hmm. the same mixture as well. The okay. tomato puree and everything. Yep. That's a pretty, it's a pretty like good marinade for anything. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. very versatile. Oops. Yeah, I had a few cans of tomato paste at home, but it was one of those things where I thought I didn't have any and then I bought it like a few times <laughs> in a row. <laughs> So now, maybe I'll experiment with using it as a marinade on vegetables. Okay. So we're at 12 minutes. Just 10 minutes in like 10 minutes now? Yes. Yeah. I'll just chop off the ends. Now we make life a little easy. And yeah. Just noodle it. Let's noodle it. Just noodle it. It should be like a, a motto. <laughs> yes, and it's like when you have like ramen toppings yeah. and you want everything to be like the same size. Yeah. If you want to add carrots, this mm -hmm. is a great way to go. Mm -hmm. And also, it's so much easy. easier. Yeah. Almost yeah. well, this is consistent with the noodle thing. Yeah, mine was just <laughs> everywhere. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not a very difficult recipe, mm -hmm. you know, like actively watching over the stove top. Mm. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> we'll just do yeah. that later. It's a little carrot core. We gotta hold on to something. Mm -hmm. It's like a little handle. Mm. 
Again, this is like just two carrots. Mm -hmm. it, it's great. And it makes a lot. Yeah. Well, this is not easy. <laughs> Well, there's going to be different sizes now. Yeah, and you can just do as much as you want. That's probably enough carrot now. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, we're six tacos, right? And we have cabbage. Mm -hmm. If you want later, we could just cut that up later. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the cabbage. Cabbage. Now. I'm going to have to see. Uh, yeah. Work on the cabbage. It's kind of a slightly I'm different size. Yes. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. I may have to slice it. Mm -hmm. Maybe not this. This would be good. Let's chop off the core first. Mm -hmm. We won't use that, but we could use it for something else. Definitely. Yeah. Put them on in a bowl later. Mm -hmm. right away mm -hmm. because if I add the salt the water will come out oh yeah and we don't want that yeah like they're making the sour for it yes yeah so we we'll add this so you want to dress it right before you put it on the top yes there. just okay. at the end so yeah. you'll just squeeze in some lime juice mm -hmm. and or lemon juice whatever's good mm -hmm. vinegar works as well and just salt pepper if you're extra salty <laughs> you really don't need anything much. Yeah, as long as it's cold. lightly seasoned. Mm -hmm. So with the cauliflower, you can mix it with your hands. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. it's a go fight. Is it a go fight? Yes. Yeah. Hoping that there's nothing that's rotten inside. <laughs> I know it's always. This is not even. Oh, I think it's good. Did I miss some avocados? <gasps> yes! Look at that! Dun, 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 dun. That's a perfect one. Oh. Let's do one of them. Look at that. Oh, and you're doing the trick. Look yes. at that. Also, like a big thing is if you want to try it, do not keep your other hand on the avocado. Yes. Because that's a not, that's not a good idea. That's why I never do that trick because I'm always worried that I'm not to get. <laughs> I'm actually going to peel avocado as well. Okay. So do you have a trick for how you do this? See, it's kind of... No, it's oh. just when you wait for the avocado to like ripen up perfectly, it should just come off on its own. Oh. Because I want to like slices, mm -hmm. not mash it up. Mm -hmm. So peeling it is the best way to go. That's smart. I always just kind of cut it into the skin and then kind of pop it out. Yeah, with like a spoon. Yeah, but this looks so much easier. And it's the slices are going to look nicer too. Maybe putting a spoon with my head. It will honestly just come right off. And there's never too much avocado. No. Nope. So if you ever want to add some more, you're always welcome to. Like we're not adding any creme fraiche or anything. Mm -hmm. So avocado is what's gonna give the creamy part to the taco. Mm -hmm. Also, it's gonna help mellow down the flavor. <laughs> So that's a really nice combination of the kind of mellow avocado so and then we'll the nice fresh slaw. Clean that. I'm going to wash my hands again real okay. quick. Yeah, there's a lot of different flavors and textures. Pretty crispy. I honestly cannot look. Oh yes, I think yeah. they're done almost. Oh. Is it alright if I take them out? why you said that the convection oven cooks it much faster. Yes. Oh, sorry, induction did you say? Uh, convection, oh, yeah, because nice. it's like a fan. Um, they're just yeah, hot air moving around. Yeah, it's really crisp. Yep. We've never gotten this crisp. No? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, yeah, that was 20 minutes. Yeah. Which is great because yep. it's sweet. We don't have anything else much to do. Yeah. We're just cutting up the avocado. So if you're at home and your cauliflower is still cooking, don't feel bad. It's just <laughs> that we have super powered oven. But yeah, if you're cooking this in a normal oven, um, Bavia recommends that you cook it for about 40 minutes and you check on it about halfway through just to make sure that it doesn't get too crispy. But 
but this looks like just the right amount of crispy, I think. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the end part, there's a little too charred, but we'll just call it well done. Yes, well done. Well done, cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> Watching has a taco fun. What you taco about? What you taco about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're actually done. Okay. Oh, do you want to get a. Yep. And then we get tortillas. Okay, so that might be hot. We could actually toast a tortilla, but it's honestly very optional. Okay. You don't always have to do it. What do you think? Do you want to toast it or just do it? Soft. I think soft would be good. Okay. Let's that's do pretty. That. Yeah. We're gonna press the lemon though to get the juices out flowing. Hey, okay, that's a good trick. Oh, I'm standing right over the Yeah, fire. you it might want to. so good. <laughs> My glasses are steaming up a little bit, but I don't even care. You might want to take care of the pan, yeah. it might be hot. Yeah. So we'll just. Oh, there must be seeds. We'll salt the. Mm -hmm. Cabbage mixture now. Is there a plate I could get to just like put everything in stuff? I think a teaspoon would be fine. A little more, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes. And there's no salt on the avocado. You know you have cuts on your hands when you suddenly use lemon and salt. Yeah, both of them at the same time. <laughs> And just a little bit of pepper. Oh, a little pepper. Just a little. Yeah, I like how simple this is because then you just get to taste the veggies. Yeah, you don't want to overwhelm yeah. it with too many flavors. Yeah, because you've already got so much good flavor in the cauliflower. And we're just. Look at that. I'm just nice. You can honestly just. Yeah. There's no seeds in this for some reason, Ugh. which is great, but great this is a great tick. Sad. <laughs> Make sure your <laughs> hands are clean, though. Yes. And we will very quickly. Uh, can you use this? Mm -hmm. yeah, let's give it a quick little. Also, yeah. if you're doing this at home, I would suggest not using a metal thing for too long mm -hmm. because the lemon will react. That's right. Good tip. So a glass bowl's best. Mm -hmm. Plastic's good too. Mm -hmm. Really, just. I'm going to coat it all up so it doesn't feel like you're eating grass. <laughs> what does the lemon do to the metal? Or the metal, the metal to uh, the lemon? I That's like a little sciencey thing. Yeah. Uh, oh. The acid reacts to the metal to give edge to hydrogen. It's, it gives hydrogen gas and the metal, it releases salts, but it's not the table salt, it's the other metal salts, mm -hmm. which aren't good for you. Wow. But that takes like a little time to happen, especially with a metals like these. Either way, don't you don't want to keep them in metal too long. Any acidic food in general. Mm -hmm. And we will also add lemon to this. Yeah, because numbers. do not oxidize. Yeah, that way they won't turn brown. This is just on here right now, but you can also add some on top mm -hmm. for like later if you want extra. Trust me, it feels like it's a lot of lemon, but it's really not. Yeah. It helps it from not oxidizing. We'll just... Wow, this is... This got done pretty quick. That was really quick. This normally takes much longer. This is great, because it's good to have a really nice, quick recipe. I mean, I guess, yes. yeah, if we were just using a regular oven, we'd probably still be cooking. But even so, 40 minutes is not that long time to make a really yummy yeah, surprise. We'll just add some pieces of our cauliflower. cauliflower. Now each cauliflower is going to depend on how much you can put. Mm -hmm. And if, because all of them are different sizes. Mm -hmm. That has too big. So. Some slab on top. Yeah. Honestly, just hands up so it do great. And you add your cauliflower. At this point, the cauliflower, I mean, sorry, <laughs> avocados. And your broccoli is completely hidden. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep it on this plate. Oh my goodness. Look how nice 
And we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of oh, yeah, a little spice. Yes. Yeah. Our chili. Mm -hmm. Just for the avocado. Okay. And then I'm gonna spat away. Whoa, look at that. Okay. It's so pretty. We position it a little bit. Yep. Plate it as I Yes. Heard. Yes. It doesn't look the greatest, but Oh no, it looks beautiful. So you get the crunchy from the char and the creaminess from the avocado and there's some fresh slaw on it. Mm. And it smells so good. I wish everyone could smell how good it smells. And you can add more avocado, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just there's so much avocado, you should never go low on avocado. Yeah, you can never have too much avocado. So anyone who's watching this, please, uh, if you do make this recipe, let us know how it turns out. Um, if you have any questions after the fact, I can pass them on to Vavia or any feedback. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. And I learned a lot of kitchen tips from you today, so thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You can, I could make some more if you want. For like, you want to do another? Should we yeah, do another? sure. Yeah, let's do another taco. Okay. Then we can put them side by side. Now, the cauliflower is a little too small, so it might not make like so many, but... Does anyone have any questions who's watching while we're 